So we've considered accuracy and precision. And with precision, we considered how small are the increments on our measuring device, a ruler in this case. But there's another impact from how small those increments are as well. It has to do with the repeatability when using that device. We'll do a little experiment with our three rulers here. We recruit three workers and ask each of them to measure this part three times, once with each of the rulers. Now they're asked to measure the part to the nearest hundredth of a centimeter. And here are the results. We're told that this part is actually 3.52 centimeters. Knowing this, let's consider the results of our experiment. With ruler A, we can see it's hard for people to be repeatable here. We remember that ruler A had a precision of one centimeter, and that means that the first digit is the only certain one. The last two digits are the uncertain ones, so they can easily be off by a tenth of a centimeter, as it's a worker's guess at that point. Trent guessed 3.3, and then a zero at the end, which was kind of random. Crystal guessed 3.6, and then added a zero on the end, and then Carrie guessed 3.5, and put a five at the end, which, again, is very uncertain. Clearly, we can see in the results that they're not using a very precise tool. It involved increased guessing and therefore was not very repeatable. In fact, putting that extra digit at the end of all of these measurements wasn't really appropriate. It was no more than a random guess. So using a tool with low precision is kind of like trying to hit a target where there's a big spread of results. It's not as easy to guarantee that you'll be the same as other people using that same ruler. Let's switch to ruler B. It had a precision of one millimeter. And we can see the results look much better. And we can also see the improved precision in the repeatability of these results. Everyone agreed with the first two digits. The third digit in the hundredth spot is the only variation. So, in this case, everybody was precise and accurate. Ruler B, using our target analogy, would look like this. Easy to repeat and nicely accurate. Let's switch to ruler C, and we can see that the repeatability is great again. Everyone agrees on the first two digits, but the answers are all wrong. And so we know the part is 3.52 centimeters, and these measurements are all closer to 3.3 centimeters. Clearly, we have an accuracy problem here. But the precision is quite evident. It's a very precise tool. All the answers are close to each other. But still, the accuracy is off. Ruler C, using the target analogy, might look like this. We're grouping nicely, but around the wrong result. 